blessed and happy and fantastic Monday to all of you, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear good people of God, faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack. Today is Monday within the sixth week of Easter. And our gospel for today is from the beautiful and the wonderful account of the gospel of John chapter 15 verses 26 and chapter 16 verses 4a. Today's gospel speaks about the continuation of the farewell discourse of Jesus because we are now preparing on the feast of the ascension and the and Pentecost. We are reminded today that sufferings, say persecution and hostility or trials is likely to come our way. We are not exempted of persecutions. We are not exempted of suffering. We may encounter the things I mentioned. We may encounter persecution. We may experience hostility. We may experience non-acceptance or rejection that might undermine our faith. But our gospel for today is telling me and you, amidst of these realities of persecution, Jesus assures us of his presence. And he said, the Holy Spirit, the Advocate, the Paraclete will be our comforter and will remind us to persevere. Sa kabila ng realidad ng pagsubok sa buhay, sa kabila ng kahirapan ng buhay, sa kabila ng mga taong naninira sa ating buhay, huwag po tayong mawalan ng pag-asa. Huwag po tayong sumuko. Friends, our faith will be tested. Our belief in God will be shaken by some life difficulties. But remain faithful amidst of the presence of the oppositions. Remain faithful. Stand firm. Endure, stand, and be bold. Don't be discouraged in the face of persecution. Yeah, we will experience oppression. We will experience persecution. But remember, the Lord said, I will not abandon you. I will not leave you orphan. Stand firm in your faith and never surrender your faith in the face of the challenges and hostility in life because God is stronger than any storm. God is powerful than any persecutions that may happen in our life. Why? Because he promised us of the advocate and that is the spirit, the paraclete, our comforter. God is with us. He will not abandon us. Be strong in your faith. Amen.